Hello friends, this video on light part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now when they talk about seeing objects, so we need to talk about two types of objects that is luminous objects and illuminated objects because these are the objects that we can see. Now, please remember that it is not that we are able to see all the objects which are present around us. There may be many such objects which are present, but we are not able to see them. Do you know why? Because they do not fall under any of these two categories because we can see only luminous and illuminated objects. So let us see what do we mean by luminous and illuminated objects. So luminous objects are those objects which produce their own light. So these objects generate light. For example, any example that comes to your mind instantly? Yes, exactly. Sun. Sun is a classic example of a luminous object because sun has its own light. Right? So we, are, we can see luminous objects because they are the ones which are producing light. So a light is present there and we have our eyes which are functioning and we have a brain. So we can actually see that object and we can also perceive what we are seeing. So luminous objects are those objects which have their own light and they can be seen. The second category that is illuminated objects. So these objects, they do not produce their own light. Now you might say that when these objects are not producing their own light, then how can we see them? Because in absence of light, we do not see. But these objects have a special property that they are capable of reflecting light to our eyes coming from luminous objects. So these luminous objects will be producing light but there are certain objects which are called illuminated objects. They have this property that they can reflect the light which was produced by the luminous objects to our eyes. And whenever reflection of light happens and it reaches our eyes, we are able to see that object. So let us take an example of anything. Let us say a bottle of water which is lying on the table. Why were we able to see that bottle of water? Because the light which is falling on the bottle of water, the bottle is able to reflect that light. Now that doesn't mean that the light is being produced by the bottle. Light is being produced by some other source. The light might be coming from the sun. Maybe the bottle is kept outside and it is having exposure to sunlight. The light might be produced by the bulb present in that room or the tube light present in that room or maybe a candle. So it is not necessary that the object in order to be viewed by a person needs to produce its own light. It can also reflect light which is produced by some other object. So the best examples of luminous and illuminated objects from nature would be the sun and the moon. So if you look at the sun, so the sun produces its own light. So sun is a luminous object. But if you look at the moon, do you think moon has its own light? No, moon doesn't generate any light of its own. But what it does is it reflects the light which is produced by the sun. And that is why at night also, in, on, if you observe closely on a full moon day, you will see that the, the moon is also actually producing a lot of light. But that is not actually produced by the moon. It is just the light which is produced by the sun but is reflected by the moon. So moon is an example of illuminated objects. So these are some of the examples from nature. Now, if you look at a, a daily life, the light is produced by the sun. But why are you able to see this house? Because the house is able to reflect light. The house is not producing any light. Why are you able to see the tree? Because the tree is able to reflect light. It is again not producing any light of its own. Now, if you look at examples of luminous objects other than sun also, you have many other examples of luminous objects like fire, flame, lamp, bulb. All these are examples of luminous objects. And illuminated objects, most of the things which we are able to see, for example, uh, wood, table, chair, glass, utensils. So all of these are illu illuminated objects, anything that we are able to see. But we know that they are not producing their own light. They all fall under the category of illuminated objects. 
So whenever we talk about what we can see and what we cannot, so we can see only the luminous and illuminated objects. Now those objects which do not, which neither produce their own light nor do they reflect the light produced by some other object, those objects cannot be seen by us because in case of those objects there is real absence of light and we cannot see in absence of light. So in this lesson, we are going to talk about how do we see things in presence of light? How do we see images of stuffs? Like when you stand in front of the mirror, you are able to see yourself in the mirror. So how is that image formation taking place? If you would have often seen elderly people wearing spectacles, they use lenses. So we will see what are those things? What are lenses? What are spectacles? There are many different types of mirrors like plain mirrors, spherical mirrors which are used in different uh, types of uh, things like in car you have rear view mirror, for shaving you use a different type of mirror. We will also talk about uh, thing, I mean you would have seen these, the application of these phenomena of light in these optical instruments like lenses, glasses, mirrors. Uh, the lenses which are used in your camera or the microscope and the telescope. So everywhere you see application of these phenomena of light. So here you see a bent pencil when it is put inside water. So do you know why this bending happens? This also happens due to refraction of light. However, we will talk about refraction in our uh, higher classes. So today we will talk about reflection of light. So there are a lot of phenomena associated with light due to which we see so many different, uh, so many beautiful and different natural things. One such interesting example is the rainbow. Formation of rainbow is also nothing but a magical property of light. It is due to dispersion of light. So with this, let us start with what is light. So we can see objects in presence of light. So light is nothing but a form of energy which enables us to see things around us. So by now you already know that how important light is to make us see things because if there is no light, we will not see anything. And it is an energy. So it is in the form of energy and that is why you would have seen that light energy can be converted into other forms of energy as well. Light travels along straight path, it always travels along a straight line and that is why now you might say that how do you know that light travels along straight path. So can we see light traveling along straight path? Well if you talk about normal sunlight, you can actually try to observe it. You know how? Just try to observe the rays of the sun coming inside your house through a tiny hole. If, if a tiny hole is present on the window and if you see the sun rays are coming through that hole or a very thin slit, so you can actually see that the rays of the sun are in the form of straight lines. So that is one way you can observe it. Now we know that they travel along straight path because had light been traveling in curved paths then there would have been no shadow formation. Why do you have shadows? Because whichever place is blocked by light, so whenever you keep some object which doesn't allow light to pass through it, so just behind that object you see shadow. So that happens because light cannot take a curve and travel towards the back of that obstacle. So that, that these are some of the things by which you can say that yes, light travels along straight path. So we will also try to see it using a very simple experiment. The speed of light is measurable and it is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Now till now you, we have also learnt about another form of energy that is sound. So in case of sound, we saw that the speed of sound is very less when compared to the speed of light. Speed of sound is around 330 meter per second, whereas speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So there is a huge difference. And due to these differences between the speed of sound and light, you hear, you get to see the lightning first and then you hear the sound of the thunder. So that's because of the differences in their speeds. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.